Hey tubers, Mr. Miller here. I got a how-to video for you. This is going to be a uh, how-to European ma uh, mount a deer skull. Um, my brother will be the one showing you all the ropes, kind of what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. So uh, without further ado, Cody Miller. Hi, my name's Cody Miller. I'm here today to walk you through the process of European mounting a deer skull. We're going to go from step one to done. First off, we're going to start out with the material list. Uh, you take your standard propane tank and take a turkey fryer and just get a stock pot from any convenience store, fill it full of water and just a little bit of Dawn. And uh, you bring it to a bowl. And what the Dawn does, it just helps cut the fat off the, off the deer skull. So. Then the next step is you got to take the base of the antlers to keep it from getting bleached out from the water. It's just going to fade them and discolor them. So you just want to tape up to about the base of the brow time. This deer right here was shot with a bow in 2011, so it's been sitting for a while in a, in a tree. And most of the stuff's already rotted off of it, so it all ought to come off pretty fairly easy. There ain't as much left on there as there is if you were doing one that hadn't been sitting for a while. Now that you got it all taped up, base the antlers to the brow time, you just place it in your bowl and water, like so. And you'll just have to add water every so often because it'll evaporate just enough to keep the skull covered. I pulled it out for about three hours yesterday and about everything fell off of it. I've been messing with it for about five minutes here just picking some stuff on it. Just still got a little bit of meat and stuff hanging on some stuff. But take just a wire brush and take to it. Scrub a lot of the stuff off, or sandpaper, or pocket knife, or if you want to take a screwdriver and bust that inside the nose and get a lot of the stuff out. It's pretty nasty up in there. But it ain't gonna take much longer, and it'll be ready to start bleaching out. Okay, now that you have your deer head totally bulled and picked clean and dried, you got all the meat and everything off the skull. You want to once again just take this regular black electrical tape and tape around the antlers, the bases. Just, just stuff, it bleaches, and you don't want it to bleach the bases of the antlers. It, it will it bleach them pretty uh, fast. Now, the bleach agent is just this is a stabilizing formula. You can pick this stuff up at any beauty shop. It's just bleach, just basic white, extra strength. This is the powder, this is the gel. We'll just take just a red plate and a paintbrush, just of any kind. And you want to take this will come with a little scooper in it. Just want to take just two scoops, just like that. And put it on your plate. Would you just want to just add just just enough? You just want to make just a paste consistency because you're gonna what you're gonna do you're gonna paint this on and then you're just gonna get a good coat even all over it and you're gonna let it dry. And once you let it dry, you gotta come back and you're just gonna take just a regular just shop towel, just any kind of towel, and you're gonna rub it in and rub it off. You wanna rub it into the skull and rub it off. 
and you'll keep repeating this process, just coat after coat, rubbing it in and rubbing it off. The more coats you put on, the wider it'll get. You just keep going until you get it as wide as you want it. Just gonna take just if you get it too runny, you can add some more powder to it. Another thing is you don't want to get this on your skin there because it will bleach your hands. I just like to use just regular latex gloves. There you go. First coat. And you're just gonna set and wait for it to dry. I put one coat on it yesterday and let it dry overnight. At this point, you just want to take an old rag and uh, you know, it's dried, but it's just on the skull. You want to just rub it off and rub it in at the same time. And get in some of Christian crafts. So just take just an old toothbrush and a uh, and look, just an old rag. See what it looks like. Let's get it all wiped in and wiped off. Coat number two. Alright guys, there you have it. Now that your skull's done, you can display it how you like. You can hang it on a wall, set it on a shelf. Some people like to mount it on a plaque and then hang it on the wall. It's really only about personal preference, how you want to show it off to people. Thanks for watching my video guys. Please like and subscribe. Uh, comment if you like. Uh, tell me what you'd like to see next. Uh, I'm open to any suggestions really. So, uh, till next time.